In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head in a live weekend league game of Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, like I said, I'm going to be running the trips tight end on offense, and I'm going to be running the uh, nickel 335 wide on defense. If you want to get either one of those full uh, guides, you can get access to both of those in the description of this video. And if you want to become a true fan of the channel, basically what we do is every single week we break down kind of high level, um, just different types of strategies um, on offense and on defense. And we also do pro player breakdowns over there as well. It's kind of my most in-depth analysis that I do in Madden 21. So if you want to get access to that, you can get that down in the description as well. Okay, so what we're talking about is we're doing a kind of an inside the mind, and it's really interesting to watch. Um, cover two is kind of becoming a thing. Uh, a lot of people you're seeing they're switching to these cover two style defenses. Um, just so they can get an extra underneath defender. Um, but the cool part about this offense is it really, as long as you get a good pass lead, and I've got the new golden ticket Aaron Rodgers, which he is so, so good. If you don't have him yet, you need to go get him. Um, he's the best quarterback in the entire mode. Um, but anyways, you'll see like right here, we're just going to very simple uh, tactics. I like this option route to the back. Um, we've got a couple different reads here if they run man. This is just my favorite. I mean, it's just my probably that's probably my favorite play in the entire game. Um, from curl flat. I, I don't you don't have to use it from curl flat. It's really universal. But basically what you're gonna do is you're just going to um, essentially beat them with hot routes, like literally. Um, you you've got you've got all of these hitches and just the spacing of this offense is so so good and they just can't use her everything so until I, what i like to do is until they can stop my baby dots i'm not going to try to kill them right i want to get to a place where i can get the ability to have the oh gosh what's it called um the omaha so i've got the omaha x factor so if they if you know that that's gonna kind of what i'm working toward here now if they do this where they're starting to drop back and cover three and stuff like that a lot of people in Madden, a lot of people will run cover three. I want to force people to have to run cover two on that left side so that I can work that combination. So it's really important that I consistently hit them with things like this route combo right here. Um, even though this isn't as good against cover two, um, it's still really, really good. And you see, I can use this easy playmaker and just kind of pepper and just take the little baby dots as they come up. So then as you see, he's going to start to shift to this cover two style defense. And again, this is pretty much all hot routes, right? If you have hot route master, you can pretty much do this. But what we're going to do now, and he's actually showing that he's in cover three. So we're going to trust kind of his pre-stamp look. Obviously, if he's not, we have some reads that we can deal with that. But if he does drop back, like he does right there, um, we're going to take that. And that was actually pretty good defense. I can't tell. I think what he did was he manned him up or something. But so they'll start to adjust, right? They're gonna have to play man cover on the outside. All these little adjustments they're gonna have to do. And then as we're working down the field, what I like about this offense so much is now you see this. So now I can see, literally tell you, because I've got the Omaha ability, what he's doing. So I can literally just look over there, see what he's doing, and then be able to read and react. Now we're gonna step up here and just take a sack. We had triangle, but um, I'm not sure what, that's what he's doing. So cover three match. So he's going to a kind of a cover three match style, which is actually a pretty good adjustment um, to what we're trying to do. So that's where I come back and say, okay, well, let's just continue to stay very basic. Uh, we're going to just flood, just flood, just flood, just flood, easy hitches. And we're going to at least take a look at this. Um, he hasn't played like great on defense by any means. Um, and he's not really done anything that would make you think that he could stop us in this short yard situation. So we're going to at least look at it um, and kind of see while we're waiting, we're going to set up eye tight, going to set up kind of our, our goal line, um, you know, situational plays just like this right here. Um, get our, get our goal line on here. But what I like to do is just 
I just like to at least look at it. You know, we may not get it. We may not go for it. But I like to at least look at it. I can always take a delay game if I need to. Now, um, if you look on the outside here, he's showing, you know, cover two. So we're going to try to hit him. Um, we're just going to try it. C. And we got the running back. Just nice little secure catch. Easy dump off. What you're noticing is his, um, because he's running match coverage, he's he's leveraging the power of cover three match to take out some of those out routes and things like that. So what's happening is he's really susceptible to little hitches and stuff because match coverage, you, you and there you see this pop a little base over the middle, but match coverage is not going to stop hitches. Uh, hitches are so good against match coverage. So hitches are such a good route. Most people just don't understand how to throw them. Um, and how to really work them into every facet of your offense. They're the best check down route in the game next to the ghost route because you can playmaker them so, so easily, and that's what makes them so good. So, anyways, we did our job off the rip. We were able to get out, and we were able to go score seven uh, with the trips tied in offense. And now we're going to try to shift and be able to get a stop on the 3 5 wide defense. So, 11 play, 80-yard drive, really good, really good start. Um, we just have to play solid defense. Now, um, if you guys have not become a true fan of the channel yet, I want to talk a little bit about what that is. Basically, what my true fan membership is, is every single week I give you basically deep, deep dives onto something, right? Whether it be off, I give you three videos a week, one for offense, one for defense, and then I give you a uh, pro player breakdown where we actually literally go step by step through what a pro player's offensive scheme, what his defensive scheme is, how it all works together. Um, so if you want to get access to those videos, those are for the people that are most committed to the channel, that are most committed to actually getting better at this game, you can get access to that down in the description. It's literally just five bucks. You get all of that content. It's better than most websites out there, in my opinion, just because of the detail that we go through with it. You get all of that content for literally just five bucks a month. You get 12 new videos every single month, three new videos a week. So really, really good deal uh, there for you. All right, so my opponent's coming out uh, in Gun Bunch tight end. So um, this will be a fun matchup. Boot over to start. We're just going to kind of get out here, just kind of force a force a contain. And I like doing that, and that's exactly why. Um, whenever you take away the – Belichick talks a lot about this. He talks about making his opponent play left-handed. Um, and so when you take away what they do best – it really is a big deal. Um, you're gonna see here, now we're gonna just kind of like bluff that. There you see a little playmaker over the middle. Um, kind of unfortunate, it's just bad. It clicks me onto the wrong player. He gets 20 yards when he should've got five. Um, one of the other things I really like to do against bunch tight end, this is really specific. I actually like to turn auto flip off and I'm gonna turn baseline off. If they come out in that every play, this is like my move because I'm gonna basically play to the flood side. Um, the beauty of bunch tight in is you can create basically uh, a flood on both sides. Uh, but you'll see right here, you know, now we're going to take that away just like this. Easy. Um, Try to take away the delay fade. He's actually got me here and he misses the read. And um, we actually get kind of fortunate, honestly. We got kind of lucky right there. We didn't get our defensive setup in and we actually, he actually had the delay fade, but he just missed the read. So we get fortunate. But the reason I like to do that, I always like to play to the wide side because I'm basically playing to the flood. Like if they're gonna flood, like what I mean by flood is like, they're gonna try to flood the zones either to the right or to the left. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play to the flood. So you see that right here, right? We're playing to the flood. So now you're, you're expecting kind of a corner route just like you did. Easy corner route there. Defense did exactly what it needed to do, and we're able to get the stop. So perfect defense. Now, he it looks like he's going to go ahead and quit out. What we want to do there is we just want to kind of close that, that drive out with three. We don't have to get seven. We have to get three in that situation to be able to put us in a position to be to be able to put a drive together next time. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the exact offense and the exact defense that I ran in this video, you can get it in the description.